guys in this video let's discuss about tcp reverse shell so to detect tcp reverse shells tcp reverse shell also known as a connect back shell this takes advantage of the target system vulnerabilities to initiate a shell session then again it, it gains access to the victim device the target machine opens the session to a specific host and port so using netcat to listening incoming connections or metasploit to create reverse shells and bind shells to execute commands at shell level shell code for the reverse tcp shell or bind shells it the following below sys calls first one is socket initializing the socket connection next one is connect creating the connect call to the given address dupe to this manages standard in standard input standard output and standard error for the file descriptor this is necessary for input and output redirection so the standard input standard output and standard error are the three data streams created when you launch a linux command you can use them to tell if your scripts are being piped or redirected last one is exav this is execute a command forward slash bin forward slash sh or hyphen e command dot exe to spawn a shell netcat is a computer networking utility for reading from and writing to network connections using tcp or udp it is inbuilt with linux machines but you use this tool in windows you have to download from this official site which we are going to do it practically so let us know some filters of the wireshark tcp dot port is equal to is equal to 8009 port number ip dot addr is equal to or data tcp dot flags dot push tcp dot flags dot act or you can use packet search to find the executed commands also in netcat victim machine that is nc hyphen nlvp and any port number hyphen e cmd dot exe so this command we are going to type it in a victim machine port so that 9005 is listening and waiting for the incoming connection and in the kali linux machine we are going to type the command nc hyphen nv and the given port number and also ip address so the session gets initiated and as i said before here we are going to perform in the victim machine that is to listen the port number and initiating the session and in the kali linux machine we are going to operate the victim ip and listening port and then we are going to scan the wireshark and we are going to see it in a plain text so now let's do it practically for that first we need to open the google chrome and as i said the link before we are going to download the netcat so now we should download the netcat 1.11 version so as i have downloaded before ahead let's open that so now after opening this we just need to press cmd and then execute so for here for executing we just need to type nc.exe hyphen nlvp then any of the port number so let's just type 8001 port number hyphen e cmd dot exe so now as you can see here the listening has been started 
Now let's go to the Kali Linux machine that is attacker machine and here we should press nc hyphen nv and the victim's IP that is 192.168.0.108 then the port number 8001 press enter and as you can see here now let's the port number this is open and now let's operate the who am I command and the ls command or the dir command and now let's immediately open the wireshark And as you can see here, there is the push or ACK packets. Now let's just press on this one. So as you observe, the traffic in the Wireshark sync indicates the requesting for the connect that is listening port on 8001. And sync and ACK packet session initiated and TCP reverse shell created. You can observe protocol also TCP. TCP protocol and then the next packet attacker execute commands in the reverse shell using CMD select the push and add packet to analyze the which commands are executed and what is the result after execution also so let's just press on this and select this the replay is as you would expect in the packet byte span the data portion of the response shows the response the packets data portion with a length of 3 bytes so as you can see here we should just click on the data that is 3 bytes and the length is also 3 now let's just press on this and as you can see here it is getting assigned to this and now let's just right click on this and click on follow and tcp stream so as you can see here you can see the each and every command you have performed in the plain text form.